so many wonderful things. And you will not be left behind in the name of Jesus. Somebody who has understanding say, I will not be left behind. Oh, I will collect my own blessings. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Okay. Are we making progress? God is taking us somewhere. When he's true, we shall know where we are going. It's going to be a good place. He's taught for us. They are thoughts of good. They are to take us to an expected end. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, we need to now get some prophetic blessings. And I want you to get ready to stand up and sit down as the need will arise as I declare God's blessings upon your life. This is the month of more than enough. A month of overflowing abundance. Somebody shout hallelujah. Did, any, did we read Ephesians 3.20 today? Aha, uh -huh, okay. They have forgotten what Pastor said on New Year crossover service. Can the media project Ephesians 3.20 to us? Uh, meanwhile, just get ready to receive from the Lord these prophetic blessings for the month of January 2020. So we, can we stand up to tell the scripture together? We will take 20 and 21 together. Okay, so our, as I told you on the day of crossover service, this is how we'll be confessing the scripture every Sunday. One to go. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Somebody shout amen again. Amen. I want you to listen to this one. Because God promised he will do abundantly in excess of what we may think or imagine or even ask. In John chapter 2, 1 to 10. There was a wedding ceremony. Wine finished halfway into the ceremony. The celebrants could have been embarrassed. Things just went wrong. But thank God Jesus was at the wedding reception. You know the story. Water became wine on Jesus' instruction. And those who tasted the wine said, it's tasting as good as the wine we started with. In other words, the blessings that were cut short momentarily, suddenly there was a new supply that never ended. And so as you raise your hands to God in heaven, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, that blessing in your life that appeared to be running out, receive a fresh supply in Jesus' name. That blessing that appears to be drying out, receive a new supply in the name of Jesus. That man received a historical testimony that years after, till today, we are still talking about him. I prophesy into your life what God will do to, for you in this year of abundance. Years after you are gone, people will be talking about it. Oh yes, converting water to wine was a miracle. It has never happened before that day. I prophesy into your life what has never happened before in this world that will be something glorious. God will do for you in the name of Jesus. That day was the first day Jesus did the first miracle in his life. Never Bible said that was the beginning of miracles for him. I prophesy into your life 
those of you who have never received miracles before, a new, you receive one now in the name of Jesus. What if you have received one before? Something God has never done before for anybody. He does for you now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Brethren, shame would have come to the celebrants if half of the people who came for the wedding were not served. But God intervened and shame was taken away. I prophesy into your life, everything that will bring you shame this year, God will turn it into glory in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have declared. God bless you, you may be seated. In 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 to 7. 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 to 7. There was a financial embarrassment that was averted. That God turned around into abundance. Because a widow, her late husband, had left debt for her. And people came. The creditors came to collect the children. Or threatened to collect the children if the woman doesn't pay. But she ran to a man of God. And she, he, gave, he gave her instructions. Get empty cakes. Feed them with the oil in your house. Lock up your windows. The Bible said that the oil kept flowing until all the empty cakes were filled. And he went to the man of God and said, see what the miracle that has taken place. And the man of God said, go and sell of them, pay your debt, and live with your son for, with the rest for the rest of your life. That, that means that woman suddenly had more than enough from not having enough before. Can you please stand up? Let me pray for you. I bless you in the name of God. Every empty cake in your life, God fills them now in the name of Jesus. Every empty bank account, God fills it now in the name of Jesus. With every currency you desire, the almighty God begins to fill your empty bank accounts in the name of Jesus. Every financial embarrassment that the enemy has prepared for you, in the mighty name of Jesus, God will turn them into testimony in the name of Jesus. That financial embarrassment, you will not suffer it. You will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. That man, that woman and her son lived for the rest of their lives without any embarrassment. They had life sustenance. I pray for you from this very day. What you need to live life to the full. Till when God will call you in glory. Receive the supply now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. God gives it to you in the name of Jesus. That woman almost lost her children to creditors. I pray for you. Anything that will make you to lose your children, it will never happen to you in the name of Jesus. What the enemy has already planned to put you to shame, to make you to lose any member of your family, it is nullified now in the name of Jesus. Receive massive financial provision in the name of Jesus. And those of you who are owing debts, the way God miraculously Pay the debt of that woman, the, of the late husband, and she was free. That's nothing like financial freedom after salvation. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All your financial needs are met in Jesus' name. All your debts are paid in the name of Jesus. Father, if you need to cancel debts, cancel in the name of Jesus. If you need your people to pay, provisions to pay, make it possible in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. You may be seated. There was a man, Luke chapter 5, 1 to 11. Luke 5, 1 to 11, who had a fruitless effort. His name is Simon Peter. He was in business. Business was not producing anything. He went fishing all night and got nothing. But when Jesus intervened and gave a new instruction, suddenly the man had abundance. I want you to please stand up. 
Because this is the year of more than enough. I prophesy to you in this month of more than enough. Fruitless efforts end today in your life in Jesus' name. Anything that will make you to say, but I have tried. What have I to show for all this? That agony, that weeping ends today in the name of Jesus. You will never regret your efforts in the name of Jesus. The spirit of fruitless efforts is chased away from your family in the name of Jesus. Jesus intervened in that Simon Peter's fishing business. I prophesy into your life. Right now, God intervenes in your business. God intervenes in your business. Your business will be turned around for good in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Oh yes, that Simon Peter got an instruction. Jesus said, cast your net into the right side. I'm praying for you now. Even as your eyes are closed and your hands are raised up. This very night, I pray for you. The idea, business idea that nobody has. The business idea that no human being on earth has. That will turn you into a multi-billionaire. God will reveal to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive the divine revelation in the name of Jesus. Even as I'm praying now, somebody is seeing something. God is talking, showing somebody something. The divine revelation that we take, that we idea for business that no one else had on earth, that we turn your business around, that will make you to be very, very rich. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. God opens your eyes now and is showing you that in the name of Jesus. Something very unique that no one else has. Receive the idea in Jesus' name. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have declared. God bless you. You may be seated. There was a year of famine. When there was famine in the land. To the extent that people were eating children. What a sad story. Because there was a siege in that country, Samaria. People were crying out to the king. What shall we do? Because the enemy surrounded them. The yeah, Assyrians are surrounded Samaria. Nobody was going out, nobody was coming out until they finished what they had and they became cannibalistic. They started eating human beings. Anything that will make you behave like an animal, it will not happen to you in Jesus' name. But the Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, 2 Kings 7, verse 1, a man of God, a true man of God, Elisha, God spoke to him and he prophesied. And he said, By this time tomorrow, ah, he said, A little, see, he said, By this time tomorrow, thus says the Lord, Hear ye, Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. It's not my word, but God's word. Just like I'm reading God's word to you. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow, by about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley, that's bread, for a shekel. In the gate of Samaria. In other words, they say in the gate, there will be so much abundance, people will be using one one copper to buy big loaves of bread. These are people who never had food for years and were eating human beings. It didn't make sense, but it came to pass. Supply of abundance suddenly came and things were changed. Because a man of God says, thus says the Lord. And he didn't say it's for one year. He said, by this time tomorrow. And what God did was that God used unusual people. God used lepers. So people who are going, God will use to be able to provide you with their mercy supply. Maybe people you don't even like. May people who you say, I don't want to have anything to do with this man. That may be the person God wants to use. So be nice to everybody this year. Because the lepers, nobody wants to mix up with them. But God decided to use them. God made sure that the enemies were hearing sounds. 
and their sound sounded like intercontinental ballistic missiles. They were hearing sounds of war horses, and they thought, and it was not real, but God made them hear a noise. Your enemies will hear a noise. And because they were running in a hurry, when they heard the noise, they abandoned their food, the food they brought to fight the enemies, to fight the Samarians. But the Bible says, that was the time. The same God who made them hear a noise was the same God who spoke to the lepers and said, get up. Get up. And they suddenly said, if we stay here, we will die. If we go to the camp of the enemies, we will also die. We better go to the enemies camp. You never can tell. They may show us mercy. They may not kill us. Why we'll stay here and starve? God is telling to somebody, make a move. Get ready. Make a, make a move. Stop that. This very year, you are going to shift location. The person who has been waiting to hear something is hearing it now. Who has been saying, should I make that move? Should I go to that place? Hear it now. God is telling you it's time to change that location. You have been waiting for confirmation. You heard it now. And they moved. And when they moved, the Bible says they got to the camp. There were no enemies, but plenty of food. And they sat down. They ate them very well. When they got full, they went back to the country inside. Because they were locked outside. And said, come and see you. Come and see you. Come and see. The people came. And it was plenty of food. And everybody ate to the food. Except the only man who said, how can this thing be? And the man was trampled upon by the gate. Because he didn't believe the word of God. The only one who will not believe is the one who may be surprised and hearing testimonies. Can you please stand up? I prophesy into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The almighty God. I stand as a prophet of God to prophesy. By this time tomorrow, somebody's story that is being hopeless will be miraculously turned around in Jesus' name. It is the word of the Lord. In 24 hours, you will receive a phone call, an email that will change your story forever in the name of Jesus. It will be a miraculous turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing for a 24-hour miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, God used the unusual, the lepers. I pray for you. Even their enemies, people you don't like, people you don't expect, God will use them to deliver miracles to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The anointing for sudden success. 24 hour divine intervention. It is released now. It's released now. It's released now. It's released now. It's on somebody now. That anointing for 24 hour visitation is on someone now. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it from God in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. God bless you. You may be seated. Finally, there was insufficient food somewhere. Jesus was doing a crusade, so to speak. You know the story about the two loaves and five fishes. But Jesus multiplied the bread by just giving thanks to God. For somebody... And then somebody who doesn't have enough, God is sending help. I say, God is sending help. God is sending help. Can we please stand up? Let's conclude with that. I prophesy into somebody here who is saying, how can I manage this much? Because the apostles, we are telling Jesus, we have only one boy here with two loaves of with two fishes and five loaves of bread. He said, what can, how can we start? 
What shall we do? He said, even if we start breaking, how, how many people can eat it? He said, what is this to this large crowd? Somebody who is saying, with this money I have, how can I cope this month? With this that I have, how can I survive? As you raise your hand to God in heaven, I pray for you and I prophesy unto your life. The God that multiplied five loaves of bread and two fishes and used it to feed 5,000 men, excluding women and children. That God visits you now in the name of Jesus. That God visits you now in the name of Jesus. That God visits you now in the name of Jesus. God is visiting somebody now. Receive that visitation. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Somebody is being visited already. God is touching somebody now. He's visiting your finances. He's visiting your business. That thing that you said, how can it be? How can I cope? God is multiplying it now in the name of Jesus. Insufficiency. Is turned around into abundance. Not enough. It's turned around into more than enough in Jesus' name. Because God intervened in that matter, God will intervene in your life. So shall it be. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Somebody who has been blessed this morning, shout a big hallelujah. I pray for you, you will have more than enough. You will have oversupply, excess abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of Ephesians 3.20 will visit you in the name of Jesus. More than you can imagine. More